Believe 8394. If you want to uh, include a few different things into your training routine, um, listen, I used to spend more time in the gym than anyone you know, right? I, I'm just a, a health freak. I'm a freak. So, but what I, what I realized is that I was having a hard time going from the gym, right? How, how my, so my problem was, how do I transfer the strength that I created in the gym? How do I make it apply on the field? Right? Cause I could, I could squat at 149 pounds. I could squat 500 pounds. I could deadlift something crazy. And yet I, I felt on the field, I felt like I, my, I felt like my first step, I, I just felt slow. And I didn't feel agile, so I was like, "Okay, something's something's got to change." So, something that I've found is is called an RMT rope. It's just a it's just a rope as long as you are tall, right? You could make this with two shoelaces tied together. You could you could um, you could cut a, an old towel in half. You could tie two neckties together, right? There's a lot of ways you could kind of whip one of these things up. Um, you know, your local hardware will store will have some rope, but the reason why it's so powerful, or you can search how to make an RMT rope, simple. The reason why it's so powerful is because it's gonna, tr it's gonna help you transfer the strength you create in the gym or the strength that you already have on the field because you're gonna improve one-legged balance, right? You're gonna, um, it helps your spine bend and twist. It improves your, your core, right, core strength, your ability to, to rotate. Um, it improves your running mechanics, right? It forces you to, whip your arms down and pop your knee up at the same time, right? So you're getting this coordination, you're improving your timing, your rhythm. And so for all those reasons, since you get a better understanding of where your body is in time and space, you're gonna be more explosive because now you can, if you know where your body is, you can control it more effectively, right? It really helps you kind of get up and, and just be, right? Be more, more dynamic on the field Right, you know, you could use a jump rope to do some of these similar, some of these similar exercises. But there's some things that are more that um, that some jump ropes are, aren't suited for for this purpose. Just for the reason that RMT ropes, so RMT ropes can do what jump ropes can do, but some jump ropes have a hard time doing what what RMT ropes can do. So, right, if you're looking to even if you just here. I, I shit you not, I've removed all, all my splits, right? So I, I, I haven't done, um, you know, any put, push pull splits and replaced it, everything with RMT row views because as you start to improve, as you start to develop this deep understanding of how the RMT row works, it's, there's no recovery from gym sessions. Right. Think about the time that you're super sore. This is, this is almost it's it's almost one for one in terms of in terms of benefits because there's no recovery time since it's so low impact. Right. You can you can just it you could do this as a warm up. You could do this as a cool down. Um, right. This pattern that I'm doing is called the alternating underhand sneak. That the pioneer of this RMT rope says. If you could only learn one pattern, this would be it because it 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 forces your it forces you to improve your running mechanics once you master it, right? It's pop 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 pop. It's it's two beat counts on on one foot, which mimics which mimics your running technique. So it's here 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 here. So it's just really gonna help you just become. Um, Ah oh man, I can't talk about it anymore. So just search RMT rope. Um, what else were you saying? Ch changing up your uh, splits. Oh, okay. So <clears throat> there's one book. There's a book. It's called Underground Secrets to Faster Running. And there's an ab exercise from that book. It's called the Torture Twist. You want to learn all those different exercises because what um, what the coach Barry Ross says who coached Allison, uh, Felix, Fe Alex Johnson or Felix Johnson, one of those, she's the fastest, she's the fastest high school um, sprinter in the, I think ever, ever. Um, so, so he says that 
a lot of players got strong legs, but because because they have weak obliques, they, they can't transfer, right? There's a disconnect from their upper body and their lower body, which means when they go to move on the field, um, their obliques are the thing that's letting them down. So the torture twist, the torture twist is this exercise that if you learn how to do it, right? There's a couple different different variations with a couple of different uh, tools like you, you want to see, see how all the variations are done so then you could start to once you understand the fundamentals you could do it at everywhere you are at the gym at home at a, at a training field right so basically all you're gonna do is um, get get into get into um, I'm sure you've seen it before right it's just it's just a it's just a um, it's a isometric hold right isometric so it's a holding, like a lot of players, <clears throat> a lot of times you see people doing this thing when they're going kind of crazy back and forth. What, what makes this different is that you're gonna hold, um, do a hold, and then you can start to put stuff in your hands, right? You could get a medicine ball, you could get a weight, and you're kind of in here, you get your legs raised up. So this is a variation. Um, you could start to kind of, you could cr start to crush, kind of squeeze here. Um, you could kind of use just different tools, right, to mix it up. And then once you can't go hold any further on this side, then you go over to this side. Same thing, right? So the torture twist. And that's from the book um, Underground Secrets to Faster Running by Barry Ross. Okay, so that's something that you could start to do um, every day. And that could be a, a main exercise. That could be a, um, a, a supplement. So that's just one option. Um, what else you want to improve on changing your split because you got training right you, you're, you're having more training days what else can we do I mean something that's completely changed my life um, search Kador Zayani uh, Z-I-A-N-I -I. this guy he's 49 years old he can still dunk on a 10 foot hoop barefoot and he's 5 feet 9 inches tall and he shows you these simple stretches that, you know, I thought I was an athletic person before, you know, going to the gym, running, cardio, plyos, you know, all the stuff. But once I saw his, these simple stretches and how high he was getting up and dunking on a 10 foot hoop, right? So, so this is the first one, this is called the cat. And what he kind of shows you is, right? So you start rolling that back foot, you're rolling that back foot and that's gonna start to open up this hip flexor. Right, so you're gonna feel this tremendous stretch in the hip flexor. Then you're gonna to start to what he calls there's some type of um, there's a technical name for this fluid that starts to build up in the knees. That's what you want, right? It's almost lubricating this knee joint, and then you're gonna feel a nice stretch in the Achilles. So it's like these simple stretches, right? Look how I'm kind of opening that toe up. I just started feeling more strong and balanced in my toes and in my feet. Right, and since your toes are the, um, or your feet are the first contact point with the with the ground, you just feel the strength just transfers to your whole body. Right, I just can't, I just can't recommend this enough. So, oh, he's got a book out. The book's called Seven Postures, but don't even buy the book. Watch the videos. See see his videos and just watch because you you could kind of glean. You could kind of you could kind of find the postures. He doesn't want to put them out since he since he has the book out. He gives he doesn't want to kind of give them all away for free. But you can still find them because he's got so many videos out and so many training tapes out that um, um, with you know a few minutes kind of scanning the videos, you can kind of find them all. But like right, like so so once you start to kind of roll, you know, you roll the toes and you're rolling the back toes, and then he kind of shows you how look how strong. Look how strong the foot is and the toes. Like, look, I'm gonna put now my whole entire, all my weight is on that front toe, on that, on the, on, on my toes and on that front foot. So you can kind of see how strong the body is and um, has this wisdom about it, right? So that's something that I mean. And not only that, not only is there active stretches, they're also considered some sitting positions. So now whenever I'm driving the car, I'll sit differently for, from reading the book than I would from before. So, so you just feel so much more dynamic. Like, 
now, now my, I have deeper range of motion in my knees, um, right? Like you could see how, right? And then it, it, it's kind of opened up my ankle too. So from injury prevention to becoming more explosive, um, I just can't recommend it enough. I really can. So this is a game changer for me. Um, okay, so that we have arm T rope. We've got Kador Zayani. Um, what else? What else? What else? Okay. Um, so two things. One thing that's really good, um, if you search Ido Portal, um, he's got a warm-up. It's called a locomotion warm-up. When you bust this out in front of players or uh, before a team practice, people look at you differently. They treat you with a different level of respect because they see how you move and they're, they're, they won't ask how to do it, but once you start doing it, it looks kind of funny in the beginning, but man, if you search Edo Portal, locomotion warm up, this thing will blow your mind. I did this in front of a professional, I went to a professional training uh, Academy, like a place where all they do is train pros. The whole, the whole um, room had just pictures of pros with their names signed, and I busted out this warm up. And he, this guy, and I, you know, did a couple other things too. And this guy says to me, "This is the most dynamic warm up I've ever seen in my life." And I was like, "Hell yeah, you know, like whatever." But so, so search, Edo Portal, locomotion, warm up or locomotion. Routine and you'll find it. Um, next thing is if you want to be more Oh fuck 12 minutes um, search I would search um, uh, With a loop resistance band right the beauty of loop resistance band is that you can have a full body workout strengthen muscles tendons and ligaments uh, and, and this is going to help you to develop a full split this is going to help with your you know scap scapula mobilization right you can start to open up the chest so it's gonna help just prevent injuries. Um, Dick Hartzell, H-A-R-T-Z-E-L. If you search um, ankle, ankle injury prevention or lower body, lower body band routine, upper body band routine, this is gonna help you um, just jump higher, run faster, and prevent injuries, right? And that's it. So so you can kind of get get in a seated position, wrap your wrap this around your ankle, and then really start to get into these different ranges of motion, right? And then you're also engaging your upper body, right? Because you're gonna use your hands as kind of the reins on the band, and then you're gonna feel this kind of, you're gonna feel how it works as tendon all the way going up your, your, um, your knee and your hip. So you could kind of feel how, right? It's all kind of connected. So, um, man, this is something that, right, I'm in Italy, and I'm getting this full body workout and I don't need to like go to the gym down the road. I'm just in my, I'm just in the living room of this Airbnb getting this fantastic, you know, strengthening and flexibility routine. Simple. So that's a great resource. If you like resistance bands, loop resistance bands, you could get a pack of these guys for, for 25, uh, 25 bucks um, of different resistances. And you want to make sure you get the one that's got the door jam. The door jam will allow you to secure it to a door without da damaging anything. But the door jam, the door jam looks like this, right? That's the door jam, and you just fasten it to the any type of band, and then it just tucks in the door, close the door, and then you could get great, great, um, just great uh, resistance training with it. So simple. So hopefully some of these ideas help. Reach out with any questions. All right, thanks.